Rippin coming to you live from the road famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony wow. Hanscliffe. Holy moly, welcome everybody. How exciting is this? It must be Monday night. Brian Redband's Hi. here. Hi. We're live at the comedy store. The great Ryan J. Ebelt is here drawing tonight's episode. Welcome, human beings. You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Make some fucking noise about it. No one has more fun on a Monday than us. Uh, and why don't we start the show with some breaking news? It's a very exciting announcement. This podcast started here five and a half years ago uh, up in the belly room, and I'm happy to announce that we are adding a date to our European tour. That's right. Uh, it is going to be the great Manchester, England. will be getting their very own Kill Tony on February 15th. So that's Dublin, Ireland on the 14th, Manchester, England on the 15th, and London, England on the 16th. How fucking cool is that? If you're wondering how often does that happen in the live podcast world, not at fucking all. We're going to those places because we're amazing. special. That's it really is amazing. I'm so excited about it. And uh, the whole band's coming with us. Yeah. Jeremiah and Joelberg are coming with us. We are going to fucking Europe. And so. we heard today that tickets are going crazy fast. So if you haven't got them, get them quick because they're yep. probably going to sell. It, especially in London. Get them super fast because uh, if, we, uh, if we get rid of that first show fast enough, we might add a second show. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a big might, but you have to buy them in order for us to add another one. So those of you interested in going to two Kill Tonys in London, just buy tickets, uh, more tickets for the first one so that we'll add a second show. Hey, look, it's Josh Martin, everybody. There he is. He's been us help, helping us out since the beginning. Hats off to him. And we're also doing Kill Tony in Raleigh, North Carolina, January 10th. Somebody told me that I was saying it wrong. I was saying Raleigh. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, no, Rally. it's Raleigh. Raleigh. You have to say Raleigh like it's some like guy at a truck stop or something. Raleigh. Like, hey, what's up, Raleigh? And then there's uh, Kill Tony, Phoenix, Arizona. We're going back to Phoenix on January 26th. And, uh, yep, so there you go. I'm doing some stand-up comedy, Dallas New Year's Eve with Jeremiah Watkins, two shows, one night only in Dallas on New Year's Eve, and then Irvine, California, I just got new dates for there, the 4th, 5th, and 6th, that entire weekend, five shows, uh, Moron, who uh, is going to be there with me next week, and then, uh, yeah, then we're doing stand-up, the whole Kill Tony crew is doing stand-up at Good Nights in Raleigh, uh, January 10th through the 12th. And then I'm doing stand-up solo in London, February 18th to the 23rd. And why do we get to do all this fun stuff? Is because the fans invest their time and their hearts into their show. They invest their love. And we love investments. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. They strive to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. You know, and it's not intimidating. I, I've always been scared to uh, buy stocks, and this is the first time I've ever bought a stock is using Robinhood. Mm -hmm. It's simple. It's got a clear design with data presented in an easy-to-digest way. And this is the best part. Other brokerages charge up to $10. Every time you trade, you have to pay 10 bucks. Robinhood doesn't charge commission fees, trade stocks, and keep all of your profits. I love it. You can learn how to invest as you build your portfolio, discover new stocks, and track favorite companies with personalized news feed. Custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. Robinhood is giving listeners of Kill Tony a free stock like what? Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Sign up at ktshow.robinhood.com. That's ktshow.robinhood.com. That is so cool. I love the Robin Hood app. So much fun. You get on Robin Hood, that's a genius move, if you ask me. And it's important to be a genius. Which reminds me, today's show is also brought to you by Genius Pipe. And for those over 21 living in places where pot's legal, this is my newest favorite piece for smoking. It's a metal pipe made with the same technology they use to cool nuclear reactors, so it cools your smoke. The cooling means you can take bigger draws and be more efficient with your bud. Actually, when we were at Skank <laughs> <laughs> when we were at Skank Fest, uh, I, I met the guy that makes these, and we, I, he gave me one. It's yeah. basically a waterless bong that fits right in your pocket. And here's my favorite part about the Genius <laughs> Pipe. <laughs> no, because a lot of these things, yeah. you can't use flour. You can't use, like, yeah. real bud. Yeah, and this one, you can. You, yeah. And if you get into concentrates, you can use that for dabbing. And what the crazy thing about dabbing is usually you have all these pipes and blowtorches, yeah. and people are looking at you weird. You don't need all that. <laughs> 
<laughs> with genius pipes, just put the genius stone in there, put the concentrate on top, light it with a regular lighter. There it is. It's cooled by the pipe. It goes down smooth. So go to GeniusPipe.com and use the promo code KILL15 for a 15% discount. Celebrate Christmas with Genius Pipe. If you have a friend who smokes, this is a great gift. Once again, GeniusPipe.com plus Kill Tony 15 for a 15% discount. You guys, you guys ready to start tonight's show? Huh? Yeah, you are. This is a real live podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, every single week, I have one of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. This guy's done this show uh, numerous times. He's so fucking funny that we just love it every time he's here. And, uh, you know, a lot of comedians are big and famous, and then we have them as guests on this show. And let's face it, you've listened to the show. Every once in a while, a guest can be a little disappointing. (laughs) This is a guy that kills every single time. Funny on stage, funny in real life. I just fucking love him. We're so lucky to have him back. Make some noise for the great and powerful Russell Peters. (laughs) Hey! (laughs) Yeah! Hey now. Well, hello, Anthony hey now. and Brian. Oh, well, hi. Well, welcome back, Russell. You're back. I am. People are excited about this. The audience is pumped. I yeah. can tell the comedians are excited. I feel it's like good. they always feel like they they have some weird chance at getting to open for you somewhere. Uh, let me just let me just break your hearts now. Not yet, <laughs> kids. Not yet. Uh, so welcome back. Life is good. You ready for the holidays? Aren't we all ready for the holidays, guys? We, we even as, even as, as an atheist, I'm happy about the holidays. I'm <laughs> Satan. No, that's not what an atheist is, Brian. <laughs> what, what was the noise you made there, Brian? <laughs> Satan. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, that, we, we don't believe in that guy either. Why? <laughs> No up, no down. But you know who I do believe in is the band that we have on this show every yes. single week. They commit to being different characters. I never know what they're going to be. We never know what they're going to be. And they stay in character throughout the show every episode. It's the greatest thing happening in all of improvised fucking sketch character comedy right now. And I'm so lucky that it happens on this show. Uh, so without any further ado, it's the best damn band in the land. The Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins. Joelberg Joel Jimenez. And Chroma Chris. Yeah. Aww. 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 One got away. Oh my god, they're babies. This is the first time we've ever had this. Wow. Every once in a while on this show, we get to see brand new characters, and this is definitely one of them. I would Holy not, moly, look at that guy. I would not forget this if I'd seen this before. This is absolutely incredible. They're babies tonight, everybody. Yes, uh, I think we figured that one out. Man, a lot of people looking at Jeremiah like they want to puke right now. Uh, just, perhaps I, one of the most I, disgusting comedy bodies that I, there is. I, I like that they still have underwear on underneath their diapers. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Chroma Chris. What did you think was going to happen? You're a little uh, fucking... Uh, all right. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're doing good. Wow. So you can say that again, buddy. This is exciting. Yeah. Jeremiah looks like the end of the Amy Winehouse documentary right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. I mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so they're completely in diapers, and uh, whoa, what's Joel doing? Wait, he had an iPhone in his diaper. Tony, we just got a new sponsor. Oh, you did? It's Titty Milk. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought it was Depends. My goodness. Obviously, Joel is dressed as a uh, infant bumblebee tonight <laughs> for some reason. Boo. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. So I guess we're going to be hanging out with babies. Uh, is that? Am I correct, Jeremiah? Are you a big, giant baby tonight? I'm a genderless baby. I haven't decided yet. Oh. <laughs> maybe by the end of tonight's episode, we'll find out. How many of you think that's a boy? Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's non-binary. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Zero people, by the way. For those of you listening to the podcast, I know sometimes we don't have the audio of the audience covered. There's almost no question I could ask in this room in which zero people would reply. Zero. Zero. It's an anomaly. There's about, I don't know, maybe two, three hundred people in a fucking room, and nobody said that Jeremiah could be a boy just then. Zero. <laughs> Zero. How many of you think that's a woman sitting over there? Yeah. Wow. 
I'm so excited about this. We're going to have babies on stage with us the entire time, Russell. We have a bucket filled with comedians' names. You guys ready to do this shit? Yeah. You know how it works. We meet brand new people here. Sometimes it's someone we've seen before. Sometimes it's a comedy veteran that's been doing it 20 years. You never know who signed up in the bucket. Sometimes it's their first time on the show. Sometimes it's their 15th time, Julian Aguilar. Uh... If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds of stand-up time. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrapping up then or she's going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And we don't want that to happen again. And then we interview you. We talk about anything in the world and uh, talk about maybe what more you could be talking about more of and find out more about you and what makes you different as a human being live around the globe on Kill Tony's YouTube page. Are you guys ready to start this show live right now? From the Comedy Store on the Sunset Strip. Every Monday. Except for Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Yeah, except for the next two weeks. Yes. And the one Monday in the middle of Smack Dab February when we're in Europe. <laughs> but, but we'll other than, make it up with But other than those shows. three dates every single Monday. Don't forget. All right, all right, and here we go. I pulled a name out of the bucket. I think we've seen this young man before. This looks like a familiar name. Make some noise for Daniel Valdez, everyone. Here we go. Oh, here he is. Imagine not being able to reach the minimum height requirement for a Napoleon complex. <laughs> Dropped out of school in second grade, which explains why I stayed this size. The doctors just told me I have type 1 diabetes. I went to the doctor sick, then they told me that to add insulin to injury. It's terrible. There's two types of diabetes, in case you guys didn't know. One where you eat ho-hos every single day, and then, you know. And the, there's the other one that I have, which is uh, when God wakes up and decides to hit you with the fuck you stick. <laughs> Thanks. That's it? Just 40 seconds? It was a 40... short set. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez Louise, 40 <laughs> seconds from this little fucking, gr the, the tiniest 45-year-old I've ever seen in my life. He looks yes. like he was on that show Miami Mice. Yeah. Like a <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Red Band? Red Band, did you just make a Miami looks like, Mice joke? Looks like, look, <laughs> looks like a bouncer at a daycare. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. That's incredible. You look like the main character of Narcos if it was on the uh, Learning Channel. You nah. need something to get your memory back. I guess so. I need some uh, Alpha Brain or An Infinite brain. CBD or something like that. Um, so, Daniel, let me ask you, uh, what happened there? Um, oh yeah. So, uh, I have... Not at birth. We mean your set. <laughs> um. So um, I had. Uh, do you have a? Do you have some type of disease? You have like Benjamin Button down or yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. So. Victor um, Velcro. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> what um, is it? Yeah. No. I had uh, the f the first two things that I did. I was planning on. Um, <laughs> yeah. The first two things I uh, did. I was planning on, but um, the the diabetes material that I added was unplanned. That happened Monday. Really? Monday through Wednesday. That material was uh, in development. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's still developing. It's, uh, me too. Yeah, I mean, diabetes, diabetes <laughs> is... <laughs> me too, me too. Can we throw... Hey, do you guys hey, have uh, an extra diaper hey, so, to throw Sorry about Daniel? these guys. Tonight, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> we didn't know. You know? <laughs> really adding insult to injury. Um, so Daniel... He's 60. I'm one. <laughs> What? Nothing. Wait, weren't, the last time you were on this show, didn't you go on a ride on Jeremiah's shoulders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, now, and now I'm a baby and he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Daniel. So how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Um, my first time uh, in... Oh, oh shit. You just oh. got a diaper. Put it on, Daniel. Right. Come on. No need to wait. The mic is okay. up in the mic stand. There we go. You're, you're, do, you're doing it wrong, this Daniel. This is Daniel's first time putting on a diaper. Look for the hole. It's like underwear, Daniel. You ever worn you underwear before? Well, not this big. <laughs> so now we have a giant baby helping uh, Daniel put a diaper on over his pants. 
it's, <laughs> for some reason, that looks ten times funnier yeah. than I thought it was going to. <laughs> it feels good. I'm going to say this. Wow. It's the first time I've heard appropriate humor at the club. <laughs> Daniel, uh, man, how would you feel about always wearing a diaper as a stand-up comedian? This could be your new voice. I, I think that I, I feel free right now. Can I put on your shirt now? <laughs> Yes. I think it's only Even right that you're gonna uh, rip we it. do a full switcheroo here. The baby wants to wear Daniel's shirt. The whole place is in chaos. Daniel just turned into a Daniel just turned into a Mexican superhero boy, by the way. Oh wow. Now this be careful because Build a Bear closes soon and he won't be able to get another <laughs> shirt, so I swear <laughs> fetus God, gap. Like, don't break that. Wow, this is just absolutely adorable. Oh. So Daniel if it looks uh, good, you can Daniel over here, stick with me. That's going oh wait. This, this shit's about to tear this right ends, down This the ends badly. Oh, oh, don't rip God. it. This ends badly. Jesus. Good. Jeremiah. <laughs> my God. When did Jeremiah turn into Courtney Love? <laughs> How did this happen exactly? I can't remember which episode it happened all the way. Oh, my God. Oh, Look at no. this. Wow. Oh, my God. Jeremiah looks like he's about to take that little boy to the abortion clinic. <laughs> Who, Daniel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is gonna rip it. This is incredible. So Daniel, uh, how often do you uh, how often do you uh, what's your dating life like? Uh, my girlfriend's in the audience. Where is really? She? Dying. Where's your girlfriend? Which one's your girlfriend? Oh my god, she identified herself. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a good step. Hey. How long have Congrats. you two been together? That's a good first step. Do you uh, do you go up on her? I mean sorry, you go uh, <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was last time I was bragging because because uh, she's my height she's ten but it's <laughs> oh come on Daniel all right we'll add that to the forty seconds you did earlier <laughs> um, there you go <laughs> how long have you two been together uh, we've been together for almost three years wow it's wow. such a long relationship yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. My goodness, where'd you guys meet? We met at school at daycare. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> All we, right, Daniel. We met at school in. Met her on Kinder. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, no, we met. We met Nailed in, it. in college in New York. College in New York. Are you we, from New York? No, nah, I'm from New Jersey. Oh, well, same shit. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you think he's from a Big Apple? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, where were you studying it's in from college? From a plum. We were going to, <laughs> we were going to an art school. Art school? Yeah, like acting school. Huh. You yeah. ever get any acting work? Yeah. yeah. I was a child actor. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, I did. I mean, movie. you still are, but um, <laughs> <laughs> if you shave, I'm sure you can get all the roles. <laughs> Were you in anything we might recognize or any I don't shows know if we've ever heard of? knows The Wonder Pets. The yeah, Wonder my daughter watches that. Yeah? yeah. I, I was a little yeah, alien on too. The Wonder Pets. Oh, nice. That was a good show. She watches that. Did you have a beard when you did it? <laughs> yeah. No? No. I was a little kid when I did that. Yeah. Do you still... Uh, what do you do for work now? Now I'm an usher uh, at a theater. And then... <laughs> oh, wow. A verbal... An audible awe that? from an audience member. Aww. Which, by the way, I know her. She works in the kitchen here at the comedy store. <laughs> so I don't think it's... I don't think it gets more insulting than getting an awe from somebody that's working the deep fryers yeah. at the comedy store. But uh, that's just funny because it's true. Fuck. <laughs> do, you, do you try to usher people to their seats? You're like, sir, uh, right this way over here. And he's like, suck my dick. I'll sit wherever I want. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to take that shirt off <laughs> like real quick. <laughs> it's starting to soak in. Uh, I'm going to have to watch that one. Daniel, have you ever had any problems ushering people? Do people uh, not listen to you? Um, yeah, no. So what I've started doing is I just say like... Uh, hey, I'm, I'm down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that dead. Is it hard to walk over popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> when they <laughs> Where I are almost you tell the other day. You ever hide out in the jumbo soul. drink? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you tearing tickets at exactly? I didn't know the Wizard of Oz had a movie theater. <laughs> this is real it's it really mean. Theater? We're getting really mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you tearing tickets at? You do not want to say? Uh, no, I, I guess uh, the Pantages. Do you oh, know the Pantages? Yeah. Uh-huh. On uh, Sunset. Yeah. Hollywood. Uh, on Hollywood. Over, yeah. 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 Well, I'm sure they'd be very proud to see you up here in a diaper Oh, right yeah. Now. I, I wear diapers to work, too. 
Oh, Jeremiah is getting a rattle with his feet for you podcast listeners wondering what the really, audience really is really gross. At a lot right of man now. foot happening, which is never fucking good. This is all right. Well, Daniel, you got the party started tonight with a bunch of babies up Thank here. You, Nobody better than to yeah, keep the diaper. You get to keep the diaper. Thanks for being a great sport, Daniel. No, and there you give he goes. Jeremiah is taking the shirt off, and like that, he's back to being a normal human baby. All right, there goes Daniel Valdez, ladies and gentlemen. So you get it. That's how the show works. Anything can happen. You could end up wearing a fucking diaper off stage by the end of the night. That's how it goes. All right, pulled another name out. Make some noise for Mitch Brown, everyone. Here we go. Mitch Brown. Son wow, of a oh, Mitch. I see a couple people out there that are dressed alike. This is some, there's some let's make a deal vibe oh, yeah. going on out there. Them furbies or furries out here. Here he comes. He's making his approach. Hello, everyone. How are you? Uh, my name is Mitch Brown. Uh, I acknowledge that that is a uh, incredibly generic white guy name, but uh, as you can tell by my body and face, it fits. It works. It's worked for me all my life. Uh, uh, I had a friend once tell me that I look like the guy from every college brochure ever. Just fucking looking like... Like church camp Draco Malfoy. Uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, I, I do have a black friend. His name is Eric. Eric one time told me that I look like Eminem if Eminem didn't hate his mom. <laughs> Just listening to Mumford's and Son and shit. All right, thank you guys. Ah, fuck yeah. Mitch Brown. Welcome to the show, Mitch. Mitch this is your you. first time here, right? This is my first time here, yes. Huh. Good okay. job. I've never seen white privilege in a person, but it's nice. I, it's, uh, <laughs> there it I, is right there. You know, y yeah. <laughs> it is incredible. You are so white, I was expecting you to sound British. <laughs> it's, yeah. But you didn't do that as one of your jokes about what you look like. About how I, I'm not British? Yeah. I, you did other jokes about like what you look like and you should sound like and all that, but that one that I just did was bigger than uh, that stuff. <laughs> how how old are you, Mitch? I might, you, I might steal it. Yeah, you might be able to. How old are you, Mitch? 27. Jesus. And have you ever grown facial hair? Have you? Uh, this, is, this is my beard right now. You know, Daniel this Valdez is, is ironically much more of a man than you right yeah. now. Yeah, that's uh, true. Hey, this is hey, fuck height, Daniel. <laughs> you look like a man. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's true. It's true. So, Mitch, this is your first time on this show. Yes, sir. Um, and clearly, uh, by what you're wearing, it's also your first day of eighth grade. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in a preppy school, because you're wearing fucking weird I, deck uh, shoes. I, I don't uh, even know where you got those fucking shoes. 1994. Are those Bass <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> is there a I, penny in there? Your good luck penny? Do you put it somewhere in there? It is unbelievable. I so rarely do this on this show because I'm always like, shoes, who cares? But, my friend, I must ask, what are those? Yeah. I mean, that is really incredible. Like, that's bad in every way. Sometimes they're, they're, I'm uh, like, oh, maybe they're cool in, like, a hip way. I could sort of see why, like, a art, artsy person would like those. Tony, they're, they're Air Bordens. <laughs> <laughs> they're Air they, what? Uh, Bordens. Hair Bordens. Because he's boring. Yep, yep. No, oh. I, got it, I got it. Sometimes you have to spell it out, little baby. You should just come I'm with hair borings. Hair borings. Hair boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why you're rich. <laughs> so Mitch, I'm rich because I don't spend my money on those fucking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, uh, yes. are you as white as we think you are? Where are you from? Texas. <laughs> yeah, what part, of, what part of Texas? Austin. Wow. Oh, yeah. Born and raised? Uh, no, actually born out here and then raised in Austin. Why? How do you end up getting raised in Austin? How the fuck Austin? did that go? That's backwards. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's right. No, I feel like, you know, like 1992, there was just like a wave of people from California that all went to Austin and then they all raised their kids there and then all their what kids What are your are parents now. like? You, you cool with them? They're, yeah, we're cool. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're cool. They, uh, wow, you just turned into Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld right there. <laughs> he kind of looks like a young Louis C.K. Yeah. I'm still Watch going through puberty, too. This is all Like, if you start jerking progress. off right now, we're going to have a problem. I, uh, 
I think he started already. I'm gonna contain uh, myself. I don't know if you saw that set, but uh, you, you look like a grown-up Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you grown-up Cupid. Right in time for the Valentine's Day. <laughs> huh? What do your parents do? My mom is an accountant, and my dad is a computer science. We're getting whiter. Guy. I, I wow. getting whiter. Yeah, I, <laughs> What do you do for work, Mitch? He shits uh, I do advertising. <laughs> what? Advertising. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My goodness. How long have you been doing stand-up? For the four months? Four months. Oh, wow. You're brand new. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, you know, just, yeah. So getting into it. So what do we do for fun? What is a guy like you into? Like, I, uh, I drum. Yeah. Wait, uh, what? I do. Well, I don't know. If, uh, I don't know if this is humanly possible. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know if this is humanly possible for a uh, Joel. 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 It hasn't started yet. My God. Jesus Christ. Challenge <laughs> accepted. Sometimes. Uh, I don't know if it's possible for the whitest white guy we've ever had. A Ch- Joel. What? Do you not remember how this goes? <laughs> it's like for you. Joel, you wait unfolded. thirty <laughs> seconds, <laughs> then you do that. <laughs> Let him make the announcement and then build up. No, he has to drum first. I love it. Okay, so uh, I think so we've Mitch, just outsourced the drumming to a white guy. Finally. I don't know. I don't know I, uh, if you know this. This is an exciting thing on this show, Russell. But when we find out somebody knows how to drum, we offer them a, a chance at a position of a lifetime. Not only do they go from only having sixty seconds in an interview on this show, but at the end of this, he could possibly be the new drummer for Kill Tony. I'm ready. Which means I'm ready. not only is he on the show every week, but if he wins tonight, he will be going to Dublin, London, and Manchester with us. The only problem is, is Joel has never lost this competition. It takes a lot of charisma to win. Uh, best of luck, Mitch. This is a Mexican drum off. Here he goes. He's yeah. going in for his drum solo. Joel is nowhere to be found at this Joel's point. Right there. He's He's right there. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, for his first ever drum solo live here at the Comedy Store with the Mexican drum off, competing for a full time position here on Kill Tony. I, I would I would strongly suggest that Mitch represents the the uh, proverbial wall. Yes, um. <laughs> this is true. Here he goes with a with a powerful drum solo, ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Brown. Uh-oh. <laughs> we are in big trouble. Zoinks. The budget oh, does shit. not allow for two drummers to go to Europe. Do I buy my on. ticket oh. now? Wait, wait. Whiteberg. Whiteberg. Hold on. Whiteberg. Wait a second. The place is in chaos. Mitch, you just did a thousand times better than anybody thought you were going to do up here. Uh, by the way, uh, good news. You're no longer a comedian. You're a drummer full time. Uh <laughs> But <laughs> here to defend the throne, but uh, you're not a professional drummer on this show Mitch yet. Mitch went from saltine to Ritz real <laughs> fast. <laughs> here to defend his throne. He's undefeated on this show all times in Mexican drum offs. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the one and only Joel Berg. In all fairness, it's still close in my eyes. That was the closest ever. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to change my diaper now, bitch. (laughs) Oh, shit. I'll see you soon, London. Wow. Uh, Man, should we do this the old school way? How many of you think Mitch won that uh, drum off there? How many of you think Joelberg retains? 
Well, Mitch, uh, the good news is you're a lot better of a drummer than you are a comedian. You know, you I got, got something to do, working you for got me. To do, you got to kill in front of this crowd tonight, one way or the other. Yeah. Mitch, thank you so thank much. You. There he goes, thank Mitch you. Brown. The crowd is oh, a rock and roll crowd tonight. I like you guys. Hey. Can I just can I just say how nervous that me and was, you were? That was really <laughs> rough. It was going to be really hard to explain to Joelberg why he wasn't going to Europe yeah. anymore. It would have been so much easier to smuggle him into Europe, too. Yeah. We're just returning him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's from here. Wow. How about another hand for Joelberg? He would clap right now, but uh, his, his hands are bleeding profusely from playing the drums. Just now. I've never seen you play like that, I know. By the I'm, way. I'm impressed, man. <laughs> that was your best drum off ever. Okay. We're going to change it up a little bit. This little uh, cutie name has hearts over all of her eyes. Make some noise for Lisa Shishikiha. Here we go. Here she is, Lisa Shishkiha. Hi guys, I'm Lisa, and I'm very shy. I'm so shy I lost my virginity in a threesome. I needed a friend to support me in this uh, dick adventure. I also lose my comedy virginity right now to you guys and a bunch of people I don't know. So we're having like a 50 some or 80 some. I hope you enjoy it. If not, then fake it. It might help me finish faster. <laughs> also, I met this fine gentleman a couple of weeks ago, and I think he's into some, ta- some kinky stuff, because uh, the first thing he asked me, he asked me to put out my cigarette on his body, which I did, and now every time I smoke, I miss him. I'm like, where is my ashtray boy? <laughs> So I think I could date him. Uh, he's cute, but uh, I don't know how it's gonna work out because what if on the third date he's gonna ask me, "Can I finish?" Oh, <laughs> he's gonna ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Shishikina. Wow, Lisa, how long have you been? Uh, <laughs> how long have you been rigging the elections for? Yeah. <laughs> This is incredible. Baby Jeremiah, yes. I think I finally picked my gender. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Look I at the little baby rushing you, right I over to Lisa. Breast, it's not developed enough. Say that again? They didn't hear that. I think I could breastfeed you, but my breast not developed enough. Your, wait, the breast milk is what? She can't develop the she breasts anymore. They're not developed enough. Uh, uh, I'll try. <laughs> Where are you from, Lisa? <laughs> I think he's willing to uh, give it a shot. Uh. I'm Russian. You're Russian. Now we figured that part out. Heck yeah. The... You're Russian. You're flirting with Joelberg. You would think you'd be able, you'd want to hook up with somebody that can get you a green card, oh, but I, uh, <laughs> I think you picked the wrong guy. I didn't finish it because I want to say that I could date him, but maybe on the third date he gonna ask me some weird stuff like cut his ears off. And cut his ears? Why would he? You, you wha- don't have to ask me twice. Lisa, I'm so confused. Why would he ask you to cut his ears? Hilarious in Russian. Like <laughs> 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 You're so uncultured. It bothers me. You don't know about ear cut off, you idiot! Yes, Mr. Peter. T- t- You're so stupid, American! Talk to ha ha! Tony. Turban fall over eyes, can't see! Oh. <laughs> Jeremiah. She can hack my erection anytime. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's what they were saying on the news. It's election, little baby Jeremiah. Oh, well, I don't know the difference. <laughs> So, Lisa, uh, what the hell is going on here? Um, you was, this, are was this really your first time on stage? Oh, wow. So all okay. right. How about that? One more time for Lisa. <laughs> Heck, yeah. I mean, for I your first time, you still did better than Mitch. No, 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 no. I mean, so yeah. Since so the very first time I was on a stage, I was eight years old, and it was in front of the school, and I forgot my part. It was I in front crying. of this what? Where? Uh, like school. Oh, their oh, school. school. Their yeah. school. That's okay. cool. Yeah. Well, it's my they made side. me cut ears. <laughs> <laughs> Not in eighth grade. We chop fake ears. Not that funny. <laughs> Display my moose knuckle. It was dominator school. I have been training since eight years old. <laughs> 
this is incredible. I saw you last week when you fought Joanna Yanjacek for the. Uh, you did great. For the women's. Uh, this is Valentina Shevchenko, correct? Yep. How many people have you killed? You ever, ki- you ever kill a man? That. You ever kill someone? Well, I'm from Siberia. Oh, insurance oh. fraud. So she's. They used to sell Siberia. People what level on Bond so N64 was that exactly? I, can't, I think it was the first, second level. The old. She's frigid. She's frigid. Yeah. The Siberian. So how long have you been in America? Nine years. Nine years. Oh, nice. And how old are you now? 29. 29. Oh, wow. You, you look good. Generally, people Thank don't age you. that well out here. But, um, Thank you. Yeah. What have you been doing for the last nine years? Well, I recently moved to LA in May. I used to live in New York for the past seven years. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> she just recently moved to LA. You lived in New York or Europe? Oh, New, New York. York. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, they said Europe. Um, uh, it's my accent. You New York. Get used to it. New Europe. <laughs> New York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What That's have okay. you been doing for a living? Like, what do you do for work? Uh, I'm a waitress. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? What, uh, well, waitresses are always good at Russian orders. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so stupid. Get me a BLT and put a rush on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that is uh, do, do people ever offend you by ordering Russian salad dressing? Uh, no, people usually uh, can offend me if they ask me to recommend the drinks and they say, "Oh, maybe you drink vodka straight up and you don't." Vodka. Know. Well, it's yeah. not even yeah, a thing. Vodka, vodka, vodka. 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 Doesn't that mean water to you guys? Yeah, kind of. Right. You want some vodka? <laughs> It's weird because you, you sometimes you say where there there W's where there should be V's and you say V's where there should be W's. Oh, it's like right? Indian people; we do that too. Really? Volkswagen. <laughs> really? Really? You got to tilt your head though with it. Huh. Volkswagen. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I would like some vodka, very very fast, please. Okay, so uh, Lisa, you've been waitressing. You waitress at a corporate chain or a little. Private place? Well, I used to be a bartender and I study wine as well, but here in the I think you mean wine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's harder to find a job here in LA, so I've been waitress. Uh, it's, a, it's a small place. What did you used to be? Bartender. Oh, and a bartender. Also study in wine. in right. New York. Yeah. In New York. But there's a lot of Russians in New York and they own that oh, shit. Oh, please. Yeah. Russians are everywhere, not only in New York. No, I know. Jesus you are. Jesus Christ. Hey. My God. She's letting out the infiltration secret. The infiltration secret is out. This is unbelievable. Collusion. Collusion. Um, what do you miss most about uh, the motherland? What do you miss most about. Uh, only friends. Only family and friends. Yeah, your uh, friends. What do you and your friends like to do? What do Russians do when they get together oh, guess, in this Siberia? Guess what we do. I mean, you drink. We drink but, vodka. Yeah. But, like, what's like something crazy? But what's a crazy personal memory that you have of your times in Russia? Like, if you were going to talk about one of your craziest times you ever got drunk in Russia. That we us that you think us Americans could never understand. Like what did, what what did you do? Well, like did you guys ever get drunk and like uh, fight a polar bear? Yeah, exactly. That's what well, we think Russians polar do. Polar bears say not in Russia. Oh, I'm Same sorry. Polar. You did not let them. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need Siberian huskies. That's it. Zetkinis, no more, please. I take polar bear. I cut ears. Who care? What's, uh, what's now he's funny, polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get you stupid. Uh, what uh, what's what's your favorite memory of like crazy drunken Russian memory? Well, I wouldn't say I was drunk be- because I was a child back in the uh-huh. days. That does not change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, the craziest thing I probably done it's um, like in the winter time. It's very cold, so the river is frozen. No. <laughs> And in other redundant <laughs> news. And we got, this <laughs> we got this religion thing when they make a hole in the river. You make hole? Uh, and and wait, wait, a religion swim. thing? Yeah. It's a Christian Orthodox. We do it in January. So you, uh, you have to swim in a cold water to rinse your sins, kind of. Oh. I've done it and once. you probably I don't had to soak in that shit, am I right? <laughs> and you guys wonder why I don't believe in God. <laughs> wow. Are there any animals that uh, are there any animals that Russia has that uh, Siberian that tiger? Yeah, husky. Well, Siberian tigers are more in the east. <laughs> like we have e- bears. Eastern Siberian tigers. <laughs> well, I Siberia is eighty percent of Russia, so Siberia yeah. is really big. 
I just cool. find it interesting though. because uh, normally they don't let you transport animals from uh, country to country, but you seem to have brought your camel toe with you all the way from... Uh, <laughs> That's barely a camel I know. toe. It's Jeez. not, by the way. I've been looking for it the whole show. <laughs> right, it's not. I, I, I double-checked. I was hoping there was one there, but, the, but there's not. I, I, I'm sorry. I was looking at Jeremiah's crotch. Uh, That's a moose knuckle. <laughs> yeah, That's he's, got, uh, he's got the old. A, a deer hoof. Jeremiah's got a lot of junk in that uh, diaper. Looks like he pooped out of the front side. Ah, ladies. <laughs> Kakashki. So, Lisa, uh, is there anything... Uh, <laughs> how much longer are you going to be in America for? Do you live here now? I have a green card, if wow. it's your concern. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I too. I too am a green card holder. You got to... So you married someone? Are you married? That sounds like the opening I dialogue to, to a porno. <laughs> well, that's how she got the green card. She was married. That makes sense. That makes sense. How long how are you married for? Uh, officially, we're still married. We oh. just don't live together anymore. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Is he in New York? I actually, you know, I'm a stepmom because my ex, I mean, my husband still on the papers. He had a girlfriend. She had a child. So Wait, while I'm he was with you? stepmom. Excuse me? He had the kid while he was with you? No, I already moved to LA when they made it. Okay. Kind of. How old is your stepchild? Uh, it, it, she was born recently, like maybe a month. She's, so she's nine? How old is she? <laughs> no, a month ago or so. I oh, a month know. ago. Yeah. Your your husband just had a kid a month yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and to celebrate, instead of cutting umbilical, we cut ears. I mean... <laughs> Well, Lisa, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for coming yeah, on the show. Here, First time you. ever doing stand-up comedy. Lisa Shishkina. Good job. She's on Twitter at Little Cute Paw, P A W. Little Cute Paw, all one word. Little Cute Paw? <laughs> yeah, Little Cute Paw. Because of the moose knuckle? Yeah. yeah. The cat paw. Mm. What was it? The paw, the hoof, whatever it is. Ma, it's a fucking sin. It's a. <laughs> It's incredible. Nobody For some reason, something in, my, something in my gut tells me that we should all be very afraid of that girl that we oh, just saw. Right. Definitely. There's something like very, I don't know. She seems like a, it's very like. Russian? Yeah. It's, uh, maybe it's just how we're trained as Americans to be like, that seems like a villain. But like, that really seemed like a villain. What was that movie with Scarlett Johansson? I don't know. Where she played the. Lucy. Lucy, yeah, yeah. She had a Lucy-esque vibe. That girl it's seemed like every girl from the from like the first twenty minutes of the James Bond movie, where but she's not like the main person, but she has to like end up getting killed. But he still she sleep- seduces him first. He still sleeps with her one night, and then she tries to like pull a gun out from under the pillow, and he's like, "I'm fucking James Bond," and there's a whole hour left in this movie, lady. Yeah. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Daniel Mo Quinn, everyone. Daniel, here we go. Here he comes, right down the middle. <laughs> uh. One more time for Daniel Mo Quinn. Wow. Hello, hi. Uh, thinking about cutting my dick off. Anybody else in here? Yeah. <laughs> so a lot more than I thought. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna cut it off. Not transitioning into a woman or anything like that. Just going to Ken doll it down there for a while, you know. Dude without a dong, you know. I don't want to become a woman because I uh, still want to make the same money I'm making right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, don't groan. That's a reflection on society, not me, okay? I'm just pointing it out to you lovely people so you can do nothing about it. That's all I'm doing. I'm not using it anyway. I mean, I've never taken a dick pic before in my life, not once. Women have asked me. They've said, Daniel, can I, can I get a dick pic? And I'm like, no. They say, why? I say, because I don't, I don't know. I don't want Mark Zuckerberg to see that shit or whoever is watching in the cloud. I don't know. My dick, never been photographed. It's like, it's like an uncharted island. It's like a, like a forbidden, like a forbidden fucking, all right, whatever. You know what the best part was? Oh, <laughs> man, I fu- I, that was a brand new joke, and I fucked it up. And I, the I irony of the cat sound, Riley, is when he's talking about cutting off his dick. And also, just so you know, we already have a Jeremiah, so... <laughs> we Do you want to give it another try, that last joke? So that we, no, we, I mean, it's it, done. I already did it in the other room, and it went great, so fuck you guys. <laughs> 
Well, I don't think that's really how it works. I think everybody's really like, no, dude, fuck you. Because, yeah. uh... Yeah, please, you, somebody. You, we're yeah. giving you... I, I'm just sort of curious as to what you were going for, but if you want to ride it out as is... No, cool. it's it's fine. I'll, right. I'll just I'll just leave it there. I feel okay this about it. It's very exciting. First, we had a Russian on. Now we have a person who looks like they do hack uh, computer programs professionally. Hey, at least he went with computer programs on that. This is your first time on the show, Daniel? Uh, no, I've been here once before. How did that go? Was that fun for you? It was very fun, yes. Yeah, what happened? What did we talk about? Remind us. Uh, well, I did a, a, a joke about uh, beer, which was funny, and then uh, Connor, <laughs> Connor and Keith Carey uh, made out. Oh. Or no, no, wait. No, you. Some, no, Pat Reagan and Connor McSpadden made out. Uh, oh. That was, yeah. That's Man, that was word. a while back. That was yeah. one year ago, exactly. Really? <laughs> was it really? Yeah. Patty's never forgetting that moment. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's why he left. So welcome back, Daniel. Uh, Thank you. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, a while. I don't. I've lost track. Sure. Give What's us a, a while, ballpark, Daniel. It's been a blur. I don't know. A few years. How a many? A few years. Yeah. Four don't, or five. Don't be six. coy. I, no, I really, I really like, don't know. I, I know I've been doing it thirty years. I didn't yeah. fucking question myself. How long yeah. have you been saying thirty years for? <laughs> thirty fucking years okay. now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So Daniel, I wish I knew, though. I really Daniel, don't. what do you do for a living? Uh, I do audience warm-up, and I, uh, I jack off. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm a sper- I do sperm donor shit. I donate what? my sperm for $500. Is that true? Yeah. Nice. So you donate be... your sperm? So there's just like... I don't know who wants it, but they, they pay me. Just in case me. another person wants to have a kid that looks like Jughead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, a, or a makeup list joker. So you don't you don't ever think like in the future these kids like twenty four me are gonna find you and like you're gonna owe a lot of money or some crazy shit. I'm gonna like worry that. about that in eighteen years. That's what I'm gonna do. Wow, you don't feel bad putting your bad genetics out there on the market like that? You do look you like a uh, yeah. If they, if they were bad, why would they pay me for it? I don't know. They they know something. Why you, are they paying? Because they you draw eyebrows on before you go to the clinic or yeah. something. <laughs> oh my god, red and man. a six pack. Yeah. <laughs> A bunch of potential eunuchs out there. <laughs> he does have thin <laughs> eyebrows. Red Man is on fire here tonight. I don't know what's going on. He, he looks He's like roasting everybody. It's that infinite CBD I've been using. Yeah, it I really is. It, it is incredible. It, 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 it is the best. Uh, Daniel, you look like Keith Ledger. <laughs> Heath's lesser known brother. Now. How many look. times have you made money giving your uh, coming into a cup? That's another question I, I wish I knew the answer to uh, a lot. How a about lot. a ballpark? How disconnected Daniel, have you are ever, you from your own life? Have you ever answered questions before? <laughs> like, what do you do? I like to you, stay vague. I don't know. I, I'm embarrassed about the truth. That's really what it is. But, well, then maybe a you lot. should talk about you it. You can't yeah. handle the if truth. It, if it's really embarrassing, then you'll get the laughs that you didn't get during your set tonight. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Daniel. Sorry. How many times do you think you've uh, come in a cup, if you had to guess? A, uh, a I don't know, somewhere park. between uh, 25 and 50. That, see, that's an interesting answer. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking times. Somewhere between How that. often do they let you do that? Uh, ma- maximum, uh, I, think, I think it's, uh, th- there's a monthly cutoff. I think it's three times a month, because you can all, that's you know. That's not bad. I, yeah. I might be into that, actually. Oh, yeah, that's what they want. They you just got, want you gotta be of your fucking yellow cum stacked they on their shelves. They take yellow cum. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but this guy's cum smells like camel lights for some reason. <laughs> camel it lights. Looks like the, it looks like the old mayonnaise around the jar. <laughs> yeah. 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 They, get, they, get, they get the cup back and they're like, sir, this is just a cup of Cheetos. <laughs> Flaming hot. Oh. Oh. Did you know? Has Did you sleep know apnea. Saying? Daniel, what's your cum like? Uh... All Wait. Right. Don't actually answer. Wait, That's what? Normal. So you really push it to that limit? You go about three times a month? Uh, no, no, no. no. I, I just whenever they call. What was the first thing? They, call? Yeah, they uh, call. Daniel. <laughs> uh, we need some cum stack. We need you to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah they call. You got a load for us? <laughs> yeah. you, you come in so many cups. Have you ever just tried to do like an old fashioned lemonade stand with cum? <laughs> wow, little baby with a wow. good question. You ever do a lemonade? Cunty stand? style. <laughs> Do, I, do you want me? You want me to answer that one? No, no, okay, it's okay. Right. Uh, so Daniel, you've been coming in cups. What was the first answer that you said that you do for work? <laughs> uh, audience warm up. Oh, where, where do you do that at? Uh, riot, a company Not called here. Riot, riot <laughs> Games. Yeah, Riot where Games. At? Riot Games. They're, uh, they're in esports. You oh, that's get, awesome. You ever get yeah. your two jobs confused? Sometimes you ever like, you guys yeah. ready to fucking come in some cups, <laughs> huh? All the time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Daniel, what do you like to do for fun? Um, 
You seem like a guy with a lot of hobbies. You like yeah. to probably kick up your. Do you remember sock anything that you'd like uh, to do for fun? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like to. I don't know. I like to play some video games every now and then. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. shit, huh? What, what are you playing? Uh, You're very 49? engaging, so I could see that. Uh, I just don't want to look at you guys. <laughs> uh, I play. I play mostly NBA 2K19. That's my two, 2K or 2KY. <laughs> <laughs> Do you no, smoke pot? Zero. You zero don't pot. smoke pot games, at all. No, Meanwhile, do, you play do, a lot of video games. Yeah. You have that haircut. You don't know the answers to shit. Like, it doesn't make sense. You don't even have an excuse for this ridiculous behavior. No. <laughs> have you ever tried smoking pot? Yeah, I used to smoke a lot of what weed. What happened? Uh, I just got tired of it. Really? Yeah. But you didn't get tired of just coming into cups. Hey, that's fun, man. That's fun. Really? Did they yeah. give you porn when you do that? Yeah, it's like old 70s like bush porn. It's gross, yeah. but I don't use hey, it. Hey, fuck you. I grew up on that it's shit, you asshole. Yeah. I think you would love Bush since you look like the lead singer of the band. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Only that many people know remember Bush. All right. Uh, wow, Daniel, is there any redeeming qualities? Anything that you could say uh, to make this audience uh, like you? Uh, you know, be uh. more interested in you. Any any fun facts about Daniel that we don't know? You ever uh, you ever uh, play Jeng- You ever beat the game Jenga and have it like all be one stack at the end? <laughs> Kind of thing. No. no, no, it's not. I don't know. Where'd you grow up, Daniel? Uh, all, all over. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> you a big fan of Vague magazine? Yeah. <laughs> oh my he, goodness. He's from Las Vegas. I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Canada. I grew up uh, in, uh, partially here. You're Canadian? Yeah, from Montreal. Oh, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not from Canada, guys. He's from Montreal. He's... Uh, <laughs> How did you get? From, yeah. how, how did you end up here? Uh, I just moved around a lot. I ended up in New Mexico and then moved here. I was told in my Nah, that's "I've Been Everywhere" by Johnny Cash. If you're wondering, I was wondering. I'm, I can't tell who's playing the fucking music. If it's him or them, it's Red, yeah. red Band. If it sounds good, it's Red Band. Oh, okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, I love when it's like guitars and stuff, and they look at me. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So, Daniel, I'm still a little confused. If you started in Montreal, how do you become an American citizen? He didn't. Baby Jeremiah. Yeah, he married a Russian woman. <laughs> what happened, Daniel? How did you become a citizen? I got, I got a green card. How? I don't remember. You get them. You just get them. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I got I one. Remember. He's got one. Uh, the fucking Ruski has one. I guess so. We're worried about Mexicans, and we have already met two different like illegal people. <laughs> illegal people. And me. <laughs> well, you're you're still good. All right, Daniel. Uh, well, there you go. Thank you. The, the answerless you. Daniel Moquin, everyone. Yeah, thank you so much. Good job, Daniel. I don't remember. I got one. I don't remember. I just realized I touched his hand. <laughs> baby Jeremiah is going cray cray over there, yeah. huh? How what you that doing, wallpaper baby? Wallpaper paste. What is it? You guys having fun out there? <laughs> All right, it pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your next comedian, Nick Estes, everyone. Nick Estes. Here he comes. Hell yeah. Here he comes. His brother, Dante. Why are boner pills named after strong black women? Viagra, Stendra, Levitra, Cialis. What's going on here, guys? Is it because black don't crack? Is it because the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice? And if they could somehow capture the potency of that sweet Halle Berry juice and concentrate it down into a tiny blue pill, would that pill have the power to give any man on God's green earth the hardest, longest-lasting erection of his whole damn life? Yes, Lord! Can I get an amen? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Tony. Wow. Nick Estes. the Apollo 13 here tonight? Hey, it's just, it's just one. Was that okay? <laughs> Everybody went home for Christmas? No, no. One of the improv one has a, another show 
Oh, <laughs> wow. I, it appears as though I've been betrayed by my black friends, the Apollo 13, do, at another show across town. Uh. That, that was like Martin Luther King's I Have a Wet Dream. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I mean, Nick, that was, uh, that was something else. It, you had my attention the whole time. I couldn't wait to see where you were going once you tried to mix uh, I like how you said women black women and you picked the only mixed black woman out of there. That was... Halle Berry's only half a berry. She's, oh, okay. um... She's Still really sweet. the lighter the juice in that one. It's, uh... Very interesting. And Nick, you've she's been on this show berry. before. Do I remember? No. No, never. This is your first, first time. time. Nick wow. Estes. Adonde Estes. And so... Aquí, senor. Oh, shit. I don't know what you guys are saying. Can somebody get that waitress from shit. earlier to tell me... Uh, I think what? you mean the, the kitchen stuff. Um, so, Nick, uh, here we are. This is your first time ever on this show. How long have you been doing stand-up? Two, three years. Two or three years. Yeah. You Why have is a lot everybody of... so aloof with that number? No, it's because I had to stop and then pick it back up again. Why did so you stop? I moved to South America. Where? To Chile. Santiago, Chile. I, I've been to Chile. No, that's not, that's not the right place. That's a that's different That's the place. national anthem to uh, Chile. Man. Are you Chilean? Yes, I am. Well, then I make a good, good, good trip. You think you, you, <laughs> Thank you. You think you'd be better at mining for jokes then? Oh. What was that? What? Oh, mining, mining for jokes. Chilean miners, anybody? Great. No, I get it. It's good. Yes. Uh, so, Nick, why did you move to South America? To be in my daughter's life. Wow, I thought you were just going to say to be in your daughter, and I was going to get creeped out there for a second. Yeah, right after a Viagra set. <laughs> right. <laughs> to be in my daughter, Tony. I'm like, wow, you're a lot more direct than the last guy I had up here <laughs> answering questions. Well, he knows why. Um, Man. So is she still in Chile? No, she's actually here with me uh, on this visit. Wow. We, we got 45 days in California, so oh, that is this is so day three. Cool. Wow. And then you're yeah. loving it. Wait, where is she wow. right now? She's at my house. Did so you, you guys come left up? her there? Did you no, no, be... my grandma's there. Grandma's there. Did you guys come up via migrant caravan? <laughs> so it's a little more difficult from South America to yeah, get that's here. A different, that's a, a different place. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. It's a caravan boat. So what one, are you guys doing for fun? How old's your daughter? She's 11. She just turned 11. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what are you guys doing for fun? You doing anything cool in Los So, uh, no, we got here and she got sick on the plane and then she passed that virus on to grandma and then uh so they're both so they really sick. you guys really are dangerous um it is it is <laughs> uh, you know i never wanted to side with trump but um <laughs> wow what kind of uh what kind of virus are we talking about it was a stomach flu or something they were they were puking and and diarrhea Man, <coughs> pleasant got, very pleasant probably got the sweats and the chiles <laughs> <laughs> Have you taken her to Chili's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should take her back so she can, you know, bring the finger down and shit. Well, here we are. Uh, so wait, how long were you out of her life that you wanted to go back to be? Um, well, she, well she, what was happening uh, was that she was uh, spending her summer vacations here in California with me, and then mom took away the visit. Mm. So then That's I had nice to move there. And how long here we you, are. How long were you there for? Two years. What are some things that we'd be surprised to know about Chile? If you could I was there a year ago, you know. Really? Yeah. Um, that yeah, but, yeah all but you're at like the Ritz-Carlton Chile or whatever. I actually was, <laughs> <Yeah>. but um, <laughs> I really was at the Ritz-Carlton in Chile. <laughs> there you go. This guy here is at the Shits Carlton yeah, in Chile. Uh, basically. <laughs> oh, now he's at the Shits Carlton. She's got the shits and the pukes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, you know what daughter. I was surprised to learn about Chile? The food is fucking awful. Really? I, um, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that how it is in most countries, though? Usually no, it's you're not. Like, you expect, all right, I have a lot. Of, I know some Chilean people. I was like, oh, well, there's, first of all, there's no sea bass. Did you know there's no fucking Chilean sea bass? doesn't exist. Whoa. Wow. Literally I was in Chile. I was like, hey, do you guys have a sea bass? I was like, I was smart. I was like, cut out the Chilean part. I was like, do you guys have sea bass? No, no sé, no sé. I was like, Never um, heard of it. Sea bass. Uh, I kept doing this shit. Like, and, uh, they, <laughs> and I was like, it's a very popular dish. They go, no, halibut. I was like, oh, it's just fucking halibut. It's all Jeez over there. Louise. Is there a so, Chili's there? There's, yeah. there's a TGIF Fridays. But not Chili's? No Chili's, though. They have a lot of sushi with cream no cheese. No Chili's in and it. Chili. A lot of cream cheese in the sushi over there, I found. A lot of drowning in cream cheese. It's yes. fucking weird. What do you love the most about Chile, though, Nick? What are some things that we'd be interested to uh, know? Um, there's good uh, snow resorts. Really? Like if you're into snowboarding or it skiing. It's chilly out there. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good resorts. They have fake snow? It is snow? chilly. Fake snow? Surrounded by the Andes Mountains, yeah. Oh, okay. 
right. Man. You ever go snowboarding? That's with your, Columbia. You ever go snowboarding with your 11-year-old? No, not yet. Huh. What is she into? What's she a big fan of? Is she uh, looking like she's uh, going to be a good human being? Oh, she's silly. She's silly like daddy, and, and uh, she likes uh, YouTube. YouTube? Funny YouTube, oh, YouTube. <laughs> funny YouTube videos. That's what she's into. Huh. Kill wow. Tony available on YouTube. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm getting her hooked on this show right here. I love I mean, it. This is idea. not what you want yeah, to watch. Yeah. No? <laughs> that's true. No, it's the, it's the right move. It's get him started young. <laughs> if you so, want to keep her in your life, don't let her watch this episode. <laughs> oh, okay. Nick, what's the deal? Are you going out on dates, or are you taking this 45 days and just staying abstinent, only having sex with your daughter? <laughs> oh. Fuck you, Tony. Well, the no. daughter's in town. You going on dates or anything like that? No, no. I'm just here to visit friends and family, do comedy, and... Uh, Whatever, go to Disneyland with my kid. That's it. Hey, that's you're, fucking awesome. You're a good daddy. Well, you know Absolutely. what? Um, here at Kill Tony, we believe in making great things happen, and we actually heard that you wanted to go to Disneyland, so we have uh, We, have, we actually, have directions to get you there. Yes. <laughs> Take the five. All Our the- friends over at MapQuest.com printed them out and sent them Map to us Quest. via the mail. Yes, remember MapQuest? Oh, it's our new sponsor. They're Map- back. You're right. MapQuest. Exactly. Remember we have Pearlies? printed pages. Anybody older remember Pearlies? <laughs> We have two-sided printed white uh, loose-leaf pages. Uh, all right, Mike. All right. Nick, it was good to have you on the show. Thank you so much, guys. There he Thanks goes, everybody. Nick Good Astros. job, Nick. <laughs> okay, keeping this fun train moving along, let's put our hands together again. For Sean Mayer, everyone. Sean Mayer. That looks like a new name. Sean Mayer. There's people in luchador masks out there tonight. Here he comes. Run weirder, Sean. Run weirder. One more time for Sean Mayer, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'm a horrible person. I am. Sometimes I like to stand in front of my mirror for hours, not because I hate myself, and I do hate myself. I'm like an unattractive Leonardo DiCaprio. So basically what Leonardo DiCaprio looks like right now. Oh, burn, burn. Now I look at the mirror for hours at my reflection because I think if I wait long enough, my reflection will move first. And if I catch him in time, he'll grant me a free wish. Do you want to know what I wish for? I wish for a fat Chris Pratt. That's right. And not just regular fat Chris Pratt. So fat that they got to tear down a wall and roll him out on the set of the next Jurassic Park movie where he's the monster. Rawr. Wow. This is yeah. This is like Kill Tony live from Arkham Asylum here tonight. This is incredible. By the way, I'd like to say great set, Jonah Hill. Hey, I uh, uh You look like uh you look like thin, Gene Wilder. Thin Jonah Hill though. Thank you. I've been yeah. working out. I was gonna say you looked more like a young Kathy Bates, but uh <laughs> She's really good. Yeah. I like her. Yeah. This is definitely your first time on the show. I would remember you. You're the first person in the history of this show whose head is shaped like an emoticon. <laughs> Perfect, perfectly round. I love it. Yeah. You look like a Willy Wonka and an Oompa Loompa. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Sean. Uh, Sean Mayer, that's your name? Yeah. So, so close to John Mayer, yet so far. Uh, yeah. It's true. Yes, your complete baby antithesis, ca- actually. Mm-hmm. Um, Baby Jeremiah? It looks like he was given one wish, and that one wish was to go on a supermarket sweep through Old Navy. (laughs) (laughs) In the summer. Sean, uh, where are you from? Uh, I live up in Portland right now. How long have you been in L.A.? Wait, really? Portland? (laughs) Yeah. No way! Didn't see it coming. No. How long have you been in Los Angeles? Uh, I just came in to see a friend. Yeah, so you're just here for like a week? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, and... Um, how You're long shaking th- profusely. I'm a little I worried get, about you. I get stage fright. Is that true? How long yeah. have you been doing stand up? Uh, a year. A year. Well, yeah. you did your vest, you know? Yeah. 
You get nervous every time, huh? Huh? You get nervous every time still, or is this one especially nervous because you're at the comedy ner- store yeah. on the Sunset Strip, streaming yeah, live the globally, legendary. one of the biggest Boy, comedians in the country, one of the top sh- young rising comedians in the, in the world, <laughs> next to him. Uh, yeah, you're next to two babies on stools. Their yeah. stakes are nice. so high. <laughs> so cool. Right. Well, I, I don't want to make you more nervous, but I just found out that the talent booker of the comedy store is watching from the back of the room right now, look, scouting for... Uh, oh, for yeah. He's actually there, too. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. He's not waving. He's just uh, trying to say no, stop. Just, yeah, please. Um, <laughs> I love it. When you wave your hand like that, you look like one of those lucky Asian clocks. <laughs> <laughs> it just, and by the way, Teddy Atlas is here, and he's furious with you. He's... Um, <laughs> so, Sean, uh, you've been doing stand-up for like a year. How old are you? 33. 33. That's um, when Jesus died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Sean, um, what made you want to start stand-up at the age of 32? Um, you know, I, I just wanted to try to make people laugh. He got tired On of purpose for Renaissance. For once. Sorry. I mean, you got very <laughs> funny things. Let's not, let's not get it twisted. You, okay. you, you, did, you have some very solid stuff up there. Thanks. Joel, what did you say? Your base isn't one. I said he got tired of he got tired of modeling for Renaissance paintings. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Incredible. Do you do uh, improv or acting? Yeah, I do some improv. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you learned that up in Portland? Uh, No, in uh, Dallas. Oh, okay. How long were you in Dallas for? Uh, About seven years. Seven years. Where were you born and raised? Kansas City. Wow. Bam, bam, Kansas City. So you've lived a lot of different places in your life. Yeah, they run me out of town. Why, why, why do you move so much? Why is that? Why do you, why, how'd you get from Kansas City to Dallas to Portland? Are you registered or are you just... Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, to vote or to... <laughs> sex offender. Oh, I was no. Sex offender. I was going... No, no. 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 Let me pull out my app and check on this. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sean. I apologize. That's <laughs> no, fine. <laughs> Your parents live in Portland? No, they live in Kansas City. How'd you end up there? Uh, I got a job at um, an animation company up there. An animation company? Mm-hmm. You draw? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope not. You're fucking shaky as shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you draw professional. What is it? It's a tornado. Well, I, a I, I ra- <laughs> <laughs> You can draw an audience to one of your shows. <laughs> I, uh, I run their 3D printers up there. Wow, that's so cool. Hey, look, it's a jagged bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> So you're the guy printing all the dicks. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's incredible, Sean. Uh, and so what are your, like, goals and dreams? Like, wh- how do you see this whole thing playing out for you? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of just wake up and then I, I say, get out of bed, Sean, go. And then s- see what happens. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. No. Male well, friend. Whatever no. you're into. It doesn't matter. It's I'm not anything. You're, I feel you're asexual. I do yeah, feel that. Yeah. I, uh, it's when you say you're not anything, what does that mean? What's he's the last a, thing? He's into osmosis. Osmosis. What's, uh, <laughs> what's, the last thing, like, what's the last thing that you had sex with? A cantaloupe? Nothing. Perhaps it. I'm a virgin. Really? Is that yeah, true? It's true. Aww, well, that's adorable. I'm okay with it. I'm not ashamed. No, no. There's mm. nothing wrong with it, but... I Let's break it. this spell. Who wants to fuck Sean? Yeah. It's Jen Murphy in the audience. It's Jen it. Murphy in the audience. Do you have a gender preference? Because we can get Dude. you either or. No. Have you ever you th- right ha- down the middle if you want. Have you, ever thought about, have you ever thought about taking your chances and taking off the vest? Oh. <laughs> Not right now. I'm self-conscious. But Are you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you layer. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you don't lay her. He no, no, actually no, lay. no, no. So uh, you you would like masturbate a lot? No. No, you wow. don't even do that. No, I take a lot of antidepressants and it cuts down on the sex drive. Really? Wow. Yeah. What are Jesus. you depressed about, buddy? Oh God, I don't know. Just anxiety. Don't get it's, don't get anxiety, buddy. Yeah, okay. Do you uh, ever, uh, hey, Sean, wow, come here, what, come on, buddy. what a doctor! <laughs> you just solved his anxiety. <laughs> Thank you so buddy. much. You're better than this. <laughs> Do you ever work out, Sean? You ever go for walks? No, he or doesn't jogs? work out. Why? I think he could. I mean, it, that's. I don't. I He's barely argue. floating right now. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't realize that uh, anxiety and depression. I don't think we ever talk about it enough on this show. Uh, a lot of it is solved by like jogging and uh, oh. a simple walk or uh, exercise. Gotcha. He's not gonna work out. He's not gonna work out in fucking flip flops. <laughs> 
I mean, I would I would change the flip flops. Yeah, okay. the shorts flip flop things. You don't want to be on stage anymore. in shorts. No. You know? I mean, wow. he likes his extremities cold, but his body warm. Yeah. <laughs> do, do do you get do you give therapy uh, sessions too, Tony? Where because that w- that advice so good was so good as a as a doctor, lose the flip flops and start running, and then anxiety is gone. <laughs> I've never, I've never wanted sudden infant death syndrome on somebody <laughs> more in my life than I do right now. You taking shots. And I've never point. wanted an abortion so bad, so there you go. <laughs> okay, well, well, there we go. Um, it's called a stalemate, folks. <laughs> Speaking of abortions, Sean, um, yeah. we, uh, <laughs> I really want you to find happiness in life. I'm, I'm wor- working I'm on it. About it's you. a daily process. You'll be fine. Go out. Get out, change the world. That's the way. Yeah, that's that's you gotta, yeah. how you got to do it, yeah. Yeah. But more importantly, change your oil down there. Get yeah, it out yeah. Of there. Okay. You, have a bi- yeah. you have a bicycle? What? No, God, no. <laughs> I have a unicycle. Everybody, everybody in Portland has a bicycle. Fuck that. But Get why? one of those power assist bicycles. They're fucking amazing. I like those. What's actually. the most exercise type of thing that you ever do? He walked to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> what else? I like tap Cardio dancing. Cardio done. That's fun. <laughs> Really? Do I you took t- a tap dancing class. Are you fun. fucking serious? Can you give us a little example? Can we in put a microphone? Not in flip yeah. flops. Wait. <laughs> no, no, that's oh, that's Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. It that's uh, It doesn't work in flip flops at it. all. Jeremiah Watkins. Wait, okay, ironically, I think he should be depressed. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know the ironic thing is he's wearing a Fitbit. I, uh <laughs> and that is crazy. My friend bought it for me because he said I needed to get fit. Well, and you're not a bit fit. <laughs> so you're telling me that the analysis that I made Wow The analysis that I made in just a few minutes of meeting you Is the same thing that your friends tell you? Yes Wow I'm working on it Just want to take that moment to acknowledge that I was able to do that <laughs> Your friend really bought you that Fitbit And yeah. told you to get your fucking life together? Oh Yeah, that was on the card Yeah <laughs> He he um, he drove me to the store to buy it. Well, now wow. that's a good friend. <laughs> wow, I love it, Sean. Well, and he I made mean, you walk home. <laughs> <laughs> Will you come back again? Will you sign up for Kill Tony when we bring it to Portland again? Sure. Too? Well, there Absolutely. you go. There you go, Sean Mayer, everybody. Sean Mayer. We did it again. All right, so uh, here on Kill Tony, you know, we have a, a listenership that spans the globe, and uh, I'm just going to come out and make an announcement right now that I think is going to shock a lot of uh, fans of this show. For the last uh, few months, we have an, um, had an amazing run with our first ever male, our first ever uh, African American, our first ever uh, regular that uh, was an African-American male. His name was Malcolm Hatchett, and no, he didn't die. Um, he's still alive, but he uh, has can, moved can on. Can you just call him black? It's very insulting with the African-American thing. It feels weird. Black dude, what are you going to go with? Anyway, uh, so uh, unfortunately, a huge announcement here. Malcolm Hatchett will no longer be the regular on this show. Yes, he, has, he, we, he is moving on from being a regular. We'll see Malcolm perhaps on some special appearances here and there. But um, so it's been a great run. If you... If you message him on social media or anything, tell him how much you love him. Don't be a weird hater troll. And it's follow not diabetes him. either. Follow right? him for the rest of his life. We still love him and believe in him, and we're very proud of the work that we've all done together with Malcolm on this show. Now, with that said, what do you say we do something a little fun? Uh, in his place for tonight, why don't we bring up uh, someone who we've fallen in love with on this show, uh, someone who became an instant uh, fan favorite and a huge favorite of the entire cast of this show. Very, very wacky, interesting, silly, smart, well-executing type of comedian. He's one of my favorite people to watch nowadays. Make some noise for Let's Get a New Minute from the great William Montgomery. Let's see, is he here? Is he here? Oh, wow, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. 
Come on, everyone. It's William Montgomery. So I've uh, been performing exorcisms down at the Indian Reservation. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Wrong Indian. In New Delhi. The cold break. You cracking the cold rules, boy. That's a movie I just finished. It's about an American code breaker that goes down to Jamaica to crack the biggest code Jamaica's ever seen. <laughs> and in the middle of him cracking the code, there's a tap on his shoulder, and he turns around, and it's a Jamaican man. He's like, The cold breaker! You cracking the code rules, man! So I'm uh, Chris Kringle's younger brother, uh, Matt Kringle. Go ahead, finish it. I'm a member of a satanic church uh, called the Church of the Secret Serpents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William Montgomery with a new minute. Hell yeah. <laughs> How's it going, William? It's been a week since we've seen you last. I know. It's uh, been a good week. Uh, we're getting even uh, closer to Christmas, and I'm just reminded every single day as we get closer to Christmas of my buddy Dillard Butler uh, back at Presbyterian Day School telling me Santa wasn't real. <laughs> Fucking Dillard. How long did he tell you that for? I feel he like by told the looks of you, it was probably college. It was. I was still at uh, Larry and Francis's house um, getting gifts under the tree. And one day uh, at the coffee shop, Dillard was like, hey, William, uh, I don't get it. Do you believe in Santa? And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, he's not real. And who, who told you Santa Claus was real? <coughs> Your parents? Yes. Yeah. And you believe them? Are your parents still together, by the way? <laughs> the mirror. <laughs> they are. are, are, your, are your, <laughs> William, William, stick with me over here. Are your parents still together? They are. They are. How long have they been married? Larry and Francis. Let's go it up for 25 years, y'all. <laughs> How old are you? I am 31. You're 31. So All they right. waited until you were six before getting married. You were one of those little, like, flower boys, huh? I was. Uh, we had an old lady that lived next door to us at uh, St. Nick. I've lived in three different houses. The old lady at St. Nick, I'd walk out the door and she'd be like, oh, there's the flower boy. <laughs> <laughs> she was a gentle soul. I feel, like there's, I feel like there's pictures of you out there somewhere, six years old, <laughs> dropping the flowers on the middle hallway thing with your beard. At six with the beard. Yeah. Little ginger beard. I'm, I'm going back to Memphis between the 23rd and 27th, and I'm going to have to... Of this uh, month? Yes, for Christmas. I'm going to have to freshen up. Uh, if my mother, Frances, right now could see me with this gut and this beard and this hair, she would, it'd be a nightmare. How you tell her, tell her you're just being festive. I know. Just tell her you Chris auditioned Kringles. for a Santa Claus, Santa Claus role. And you didn't get it. How are you going to change the gut in so fat? Like a girdle? Well, that's why you he said he auditioned for it. He grew it for this fucking movie, and then he didn't get the role. <laughs> Williams, about come up with a good Hollywood story. Good, good time. <laughs> <laughs> William, are you going to trim the beard before going back home to uh, to Memphis? I think so. That's my plan. Yeah. How are you going to do that? You're going to do that yourself. I am going to uh, find the closest Fantastic Sam's. Uh, they are fantastic. Man, interesting. That's fucking crazy. Huh. Well, William, it looks like you're already uh, really ready for the holidays. You seem, uh, you seem dressed to the nines. You know, William has been on the show. How many times do you think it's been now? Four or five, including San Francisco? I would guess five. 
And uh, yeah, and we've always loved you. Everybody's sort of raving about you. I think there's a lot of mumbles in the system and everything like that about, uh, you know, murmurs of how much people love you. And I know that the entire cast of this show loves you. And we've never had anything quite like it on this show before. And I guess uh, I guess what I'm sort of asking is, would you be interested in being the new regular here on Kill Tony? Yeah! I would love to. Yeah? Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, that makes it official. Your new regular is William Montgomery, everybody. Hell yeah. Boom, there you go. Wow. Thank you. That's confetti. We got confetti cannons for this occasion. Forget all Billy Monty. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to my hater cracker barrel kid, 55. He talks so much shit about me on YouTube. If you're watching this, you spineless piece of shit. I hope you fucking like what you're seeing. Because I'm sick of it. It's almost Christmas. I'm about to see Dillard Butler. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's just a taste of what... uh... Thank you. Perhaps we could be having that much fun every single week. Oh, my God. So fun. You know, William is one of the purest uh, funny men that we've had on this show. So pure, healthy, clean. Reminds me of Infinite CBD that offers the cleanest, healthiest, and purest form of CBD available. It's become even more popular, and you're seeing it everywhere because the stuff works. It gives you the benefits of marijuana without getting high. And I personally use the... uh, the PM pills and the melatonin CBD to go to sleep at night. It's actually really helping me a lot. I used a lot of it last night. Actually, I cleaned out of all Death Squad studios and like it took like five hours to move it into this thing while we re- uh, fixed the roof. And I was so sore. Came home, put a bunch of CBD all over my body. Felt good. I'm telling you, this stuff like works and it's like. legal absolutely everywhere. Did you know, Russell, that 42% of CBD users have stopped using <laughs> traditional medicines? Why, I did not know that, Tony. <laughs> And they have a full range of products from gummies to capsules to topical creams. So, you know, in, my, in our favorite, you know, they locked us down quick because we actually believe in their product. Yeah. Is Infinite Where can CBD. I get this? Oh. Yeah. InfiniteCBD.com. They've got a lot of products that will improve your life. And for December only, if you use the promo code TONY15, you get 30% off. Normally, it's 50% 30%? Off, but uh, so stock up for next year. Buy some gifts for people that you love and care about. Once again, that's infinitecbd.com. Promo code TONY15 for 30% off in the month of December. <laughs> Russell, yes, have you babe. used CBD uh, before? I could use some tonight. You got any here? Yeah, yeah. we might have I'll some. Use yeah, some we got tonight. some in the back. We, get, we also, uh, we also uh, have a vendor f- uh, sponsor friend, our friends over at Speedweed, that uh, carry products like that. And yeah, yeah. Uh, He's right over yes, there. Yes, there he is. He's right over there. Ah, Gino, shout out to Gino. Young Gino. Yes, baby, uh, baby Jeremiah is something he wants to goo goo gaga about. Yeah, I think we need to talk to the person who chose the placement of ads in this episode. <laughs> it seemed to work absolutely perfectly to me, but... Uh, it's our new regular plug. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. Maybe I'll do it like your podcast and not put the ads where the most people are listening and watching. <laughs> All right, All right. Uh, Jeremiah oh. wonders if you guys want to cross over. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. They do want to cross I'm a little over. concerned I've never done your podcast. I've never I'd been love asked. for you to do my podcast. <laughs> you never asked. I mean, you wow, what a that. great time to ask that question. You could have asked that after the show, but... Uh. Hey. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Actually, this oh is crazy. God, this is, this is, is very, awesome. very special. Uh, uh-huh. This young man it has uh, helped us with every single episode of this show. Very rarely does he sign up. Normally when uh, only we have guests on that we, he thinks can help his career. Uh, but no, he's actually literally one of my favorite comedians in the world. Truly a monster uh, comedian. One of the best features. He goes on the road with me a lot. He's a fucking beast. He's a paid regular here at the store. Helps produce Kill Tony. Makes some noise for one of my best friends. It's Josh Martin. He signed up. Pulled out of the bucket. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, this is not my natural voice. My voice is much better now because I've been going to therapy and see a sweet therapist to fix my shit. And it's been a double-edged sword because now I can speak correctly, but there was words I could never say that I, now I can say, and I fucking love it. For the first time in my life, I'm able to say retarded correctly. And a lot of people say, Josh, you can't say that word. It's offensive to mentally ill people. And I don't give a fuck. (laughs) 
I fucking love that word. Like, I, for the first time in my life, I understand people who love their guns. And they're like, the only way you take this gun from me is over my d- cold, dead body. I feel the same way about retarded. <laughs> like, I'll be in my deathbed, and my family will be all around me. And I'm like, come closer. <laughs> and they'll be right here at my face, and then I'll just point to my youngest son and be like, retard. <laughs> and then just die. We all wow. have dreams. There you go. Joshua Martin. This guy's a monster. It's great. I still uh, couldn't understand you, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... You know, it's uh, only the special people can. Well, that Do was... you mean retarded? <laughs> uh, no, I'm talking about the Jews. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus Christ. Not uh, for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy now? Uh, what, seven and a half years? Seven. It's got to be more than that. Seven. It's more than that. It's seven, more than that. No, I think it's seven How long had you been doing it when I met you here? Uh, six months, maybe? Six months. I was early on. And a fun that fact, point. that was before uh, Kill Tony started. I was hosting the original room one night. And I saw him go up there. He looked exactly like he does now. Yeah, I think he had a backpack and a notebook with him, something like that, uh, right? Yeah, backpack, notebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, Much worse speech impediment. Way, by the way. way, way. He worse. couldn't even say the word. He was he was calling it weetarded when I first met him. Uh, there uh, was a, I wrote so many jokes when I first started with the word retarded in it. Yeah. And then after l- finally forcing myself to listen to it, I realized I couldn't say it correctly, so I lost my entire act. Within like nine months of doing stand up, it's incredible. Aren't you and grateful? It's, uh, you know, I feel like if I could have said it seven and a half years ago, I would have the best retarded joke ever. Yeah, there's something to that. You should revisit it. I think Sorry. you. I think you might have. I think you might have one of the best retarded jokes out there right now. The, 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 this is the issue: is that now that I can say it correctly. I'm only writing retarded jokes. Ah. It's all I'm writing about. Have you, wrote, have you written a retarded dick-sucking joke yet? No, I, be, I did. <laughs> no, but I did, I did write a joke about I don't understand why all, re, all retarded women have giant-ass titties. Wow, is That's that true? true? It's yeah. true. They I, do. They're, true. they're the KFC next to where I live, and I, I eat there like once a week. And, um, first, first of all, stop bragging, but go on. <laughs> Don't want to brag, but high-quality KFC. And um, they're a the group of uh, mentally ill adults, retarded adults. Wow. Who hang out with their caretaker at this KFC. Caretaker. And you go to, at the same time as the special I, people go every day? I, I, so are I, you I, one I, of the retarded do, people, is Josh? That the, is that I, the $2 Tuesday plan? No, <laughs> that's Popeye's. You like Cheerios? Uh, no. So you I, just go to this KFC and st- stare at these retards' chicken buckets the whole time? No, I look at their... <laughs> by chicken buckets, you mean their tits? Yeah, that's exactly... That actually yeah. is the joke that I made. That's what I, good, it is what I was one. talking and, um, about. And they I drink... Like he, he ruined it, but it's good. It's like what? bumping mics. He gets, <laughs> he gets a bucket of just breasts. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about it is that, um, is that they drink Capri Suns. And, but they're all adults. They're all like in their... Like, Late twenties, early thirties. What are you talking wow. about? What, what, uh, what is the uh, general weekly retarded order? What is their? Yeah. Uh, no, they don't. They bring out. They have their own lunchbox. They and wait. They they pack they a lunch. They bring a lunchbox. Their caretaker eats KFC. Oh. Wow. She's she's a large black woman with big tits, just oh. not retarded, just not retarded, and I stare at her too. Wow. So you go get KFC. I once eat a, a two week. piece and then I just stare at tits and I'm like, this is way better than porn. Do you order breasts? No, I get a thigh. I'm a, I'm more of an ass guy. Wow. Yet you, you still know? stare at the tits. You know, if it's available, you. But the this was last time I this was like a month ago. There was they were there and there was these two uh, one dude one woman and they were all horned up the entire time. Really? Are these, see. Are these uh, just to clarify? Are these retards or regular people? Uh, retards. Okay. Good. These retards are all horny as fuck. You can be retarded and horny. I did not know this. So oh, they, 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 they some of the horny. So they, they yeah. start all retards get horny Super at uh, horny. KFC. It's <laughs> actually a book by Judy Bloom. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
So, uh, no, they, dear God, are you there? It's me, the retarded horny one. <laughs> you, you know what can cure a retard from being really horny? Infinite CBD. <laughs> Rub it on your body at any moment, and it'll calm down the area. Oh, I swear to God. <laughs> you know, CBD gives you the benefits of marijuana without getting high. Um, <laughs> you ever jerk off at the KFC? No, I. I Your don't hands are greasy enough to lube CBD. it, so oh, yeah. it's perfect. You're uh, like, oh, this is finger looking it, it good. It doesn't okay. turn me on at all, but uh, so like that this couple, and they all were all horned up, touching each other. Yeah. Like he like was straight up going after those tits. Yeah, and then what and happened? Wait, sh- can you show us? Because I, I, you know, I, I, I picture it like normal. Like, hey, titties. I don't see any tits. But like, like, what's the did retard, they go what's the retard grope is yeah. what I want to know it, it's it's, it's, a aggr- st- it's very aggressive a lot stronger yeah nah. <laughs> it, right. it's, it, honestly it's like that and she was like she just grabbed his dick oh my god and then I'm like I got to go jerk off you didn't right watch now. it I, I jerked I had to you did you, you went and jerked off yeah but I don't want to see a- your uh, <laughs> your you porn history <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I'm not a U-porn guy. I'm an ex-hamster guy. I do like ex-hamster Ex- myself. Ex-hamster is good. Well. I, I, I watched some amazing porn recently on the ex-hamster. Yeah? Uh, yeah. What was it? It was not what I was expecting. It was uh, a white guy. He was laying uh, a <laughs> You weren't that. expecting a white guy? No. <laughs> I only saw the picture, so this is why I clicked on it. I didn't even read yeah, the description. Yeah, but if you put your uh, icon over it, it, it I, I, I know. It. I just saw the picture. I'm like, I have to watch this. It was, uh, it was in a being just I mean, a, I think. In a being... <laughs> Uh, a white guy laying a Confederate flag towel on the bed. I love so it. I thought it was gonna be like a white power porn, like fuck black people. We're gonna fuck on this towel, but it ended up being him just laying the towel. It just ended up being him laying the towel, and then he jerked off while watching a black guy fuck his wife on that towel. It ended I mean, up being cuckold porn. I guess at that point you can lay down the Confederate flag. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, you know what? This is making America great again. Let's do this shit. Wow, I don't get that part at all. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were definitely from where uh, William Montgomery's. From. I would have had uh, I would have had the black guy put it on his dick and fly it at half mast, right? It would still be flag. bigger. Is it too soon for Confederate flag jokes in this room? Nah. Never too soon. Uh, Josh, that was uh, that was a very very fun performance. Way to yeah. go for it. There he is, Josh Martin. He's on Twitter at Josh hey, Martin Tony. Comic. Thanks, Joshy. Tony, can I? What do you think? Can we? You think we can squeeze one more up here? Let's do a quick you one. You guys want to do one more? Hey, Tony. Tony. Tony, since it's the holiday season, uh, I just want to publicly thank Josh for all his help every week. He helps the band out so much, and he doesn't, you know, get the credit. There you go. Either. One more hand for Josh from Martin. We everybody. love you, Josh. We do love him. We do love him. I went deep in the bucket this time. Oh, oh my God. This is crazy. The last time this guy was on, we actually, uh, this is probably, oh <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. The last time this guy was on, he was very negative. He was very mean to me. It seems like he really doesn't like me at all. He accused me of being a Sprite salesman. Is this your father? Uh, he has only been on this show one time. We've been wait- uh, We've somehow been avoiding this for a while. Make some noise for Go. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's your last comedian of the night, people. Make some noise for Go. Let's give him a chance. Got some funk in here tonight. Do we got a little funk? Crackers in the house. I'm Irish, and I'm from Iowa. I'm a cracker with a hard R. I like crackers. Cracker gives you a spectrum. You could be a saltine cracker. You could be a Ritz cracker. Fuck, you could throw some Nutella on that cracker. It all works for me. Cracker, I don't like white. White just makes it a binary choice. Get a little wild with it. Get a little funky. Pale works. Even Kanye can wake up feeling a little pale. I'm the palest motherfucker you ever did see. Well, I'm so pale you can see through me. Just one funky, no ass hellbilly. I might be the palest. Cracker, peckerwood, white trash, hang around the bowling alley too late at night, pinch of gringo, that you ever did see. Thank you. Wow. There you go. Go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, 
Is it true that you eat at Kentucky Fried Chicken every week? Uh, with a, yeah, oh, that's that's low. Baker. That's low, Tony. Cracker low. Hey, in all fairness, he's an aggressive tit grabber. <laughs> Go. Uh, I, 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 I like the creativity. You're taking chances. The only thing I don't get, Go, is that you're really not that pale, and you're talking about being pale. You, it seems, seems like you have some good, healthy sun to you. You're just talking about being white overall? Well, I think the Irish thing, the Irish and the white thing, that was kind of a weird. To, for me, growing up, the white guys were always the tight asses, the money grubbers, the bougie people. So, yeah, uh, and what were the black people, just to remind people, us? Uh, the people that I got along with, usually. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. You all can exhale there. Right. You I like that you said Irish and white, like Irish is not white. Uh, yeah, it was not, yeah that's, that, where, how that came about was a weird fucking kind of uh, a couple of motherfuckers getting sold out to Fox News with the whole ales with uh, O'Reilly and Hannity and stuff. That, uh, wow. But that's part of the you game. Looks like you, you look like you still listen to every episode of Alex Jones. This is incredible. Black helicopters. Uh, Chair, you know who I, Roger Ailes is, Tony? Yes, of course. He's I not do. a figment of anybody's imagination. If you think that's like a, you know, some sort of weird, not a game, then uh, okay, I'll go with it. No, it's all good. You trying to start shit again? Go. No, I'll go there. I'll go there. I know, I, I, I'll go there. I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> Uh, baby it's Jeremiah. It's all love, Tony. It's all love, you bougie. Anyway. <laughs> no. See, you fucking almost, sprite salesman. <laughs> you almost did it again, you son of a bitch. Go. Why do, you not, why, do you, why do you like to take shots at me all the time when you're up here? It right? is kind of well, funny. Somebody's got to do it. I Dude. mean, everybody comes up and kisses your ass, and you're not Carlin yet. You know, I'm just trying to push you to your better self, you know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I would agree that I'm not Carlin yet as well. That's not really yeah, that so big of a diss. I like, I, I like that the, uh, yet is, a, you know, it's a prospect. Yeah. Your yeah, I'm giving you, some, oh, yeah, I'm giving you sure. something. Baby I mean, you Jeremiah. something pretty cool, hey, and you've uh, helped out some great people. I mean, the William thing is like, that's really next level thinking, because William's doing something that is, seriously, <laughs> William's doing something that's like, what the fuck oh, is kiss that? Kiss my ass some more. Well, I just, yeah, whoever. All right. Well, uh, Baby Jeremiah. I think uh, OK's name is short for OK, we're done here. <laughs> His name's Go. <laughs> <laughs> this episode brought to you by Infinite CBD. Uh, wow. <laughs> Go, how long have you been doing stand up comedy for? I started comedy in 87. Wow. You've oh. been doing it the whole time through? No, I, I did it for about five years, and then uh, I guess I cracked. And, yeah, you uh, did. What do you mean? When you cracked, what does that mean? What happened? It's just I, I stopped. I, I got some shit going on, and uh, then some thing, a lot of things fell through. And Anything uh, you're willing to talk with us about? Seems like that's the most interesting stuff. Right well, I just got, I got pretty depressed and withdrawn, and I was like fairly well-known in the Twin Cities. Uh, Which and, ones? Uh, <laughs> It kind of sucks when you <laughs> have, get a degree in notoriety and uh, then uh, you go out and you just don't have your life anymore. You know, people will recognize right. you. Gonzalez, Gonzo, or whatever. You know. It used to be Gomez Opre was who I was. Was your stage name? Yeah. And what did, what did he tend to talk about or do? It was kind of hooky, uh, kind of what you would expect, kind of Gomez Opre. Bailey's in tequila, drinking a Corona with a witch potato Wait, the top. so you pretended to be a Mexican? Well, I was actually – my dad died when I was young, and I was raised by uh, – by Mexicans, but it's Spanish before. The well, we know Irish we know how Mexicans were made. Yeah, I mean, you ever no. you ever play the drums before? I uh, did. Do not play the drums. Wow, that would have been the greatest Mexican drum ever. off ever. Uh, how about a guitar off with him and Patty? Uh, that's not pa- that's not uh, that's Chroma Chris over oh, there. Oh, sorry, my fault. Yeah. That's uh, uh, I can't tell you people. Okay. <laughs> And yeah, Chroma, Chroma already. Uh, I think Chroma's got it. I don't think his guitar is. Uh, well, he's well, sure he's missing one fucking thing, but you know. Yeah, or, talent. I think he's got a few broken strings. Yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> Go. Can you tell us uh, anything else interesting about your uh, past lives that we might find uh, compelling? Uh, I had to abscond from the country once. Uh, Which one? To, to Ireland. Uh, from this country to Ireland. Why'd you leave? Uh, because uh, somebody I was doing business with fucked up, and uh, people were asking questions, and then like they... asking questions like, "Where's my money?" <laughs> I mean, we're asking questions. Where do you think you're gonna go from here? <laughs> you're gonna go to Ireland because we're gonna be there. Valentine's Day, February fourteenth, two thousand nineteen. 
in Dublin, and then we go straight to Manchester and London. I was I was somewhere in the chain of distribution for uh, for distributing a certain product in the Midwest, and some people went down, and then they were. Wow, this reminds oh, me of the wow. movie Desperado. If he was homeless, yeah, <laughs> can't get any more desperate <laughs> than that. <laughs> <sighs> and then what happened? I, was, uh, I just uh, lived in Europe for six months and then came back and all was forgotten. So if shit ever goes down, grab your passport, get on a plane, and go to a fucking country and just hang out for six months. Let me ask you a question, uh, Code, because you, uh, you seem a little paranoid about something. And I'm, I think that's the word I'm looking actually, for. Actually, what I, do you think is going to happen? What do you, if you had to guess. Oh, this was a long time ago. But this I noticed you mentioned if you have to, have to go, grab your passport and go, and you said something about Roger Ailes. That which sounds like, like, a, like a great out in the 80s. If you're, I don't think yeah, in if you're this ever, day yeah, and age you can do it. It'll be harder these days yeah, probably a little to bit, do what yeah. I, I guess here's what I'm asking, time. Go. If there is sort of a crazy conspiracy theory it's, that or something like that that you think might happen or could possibly happen that you think mainstream people don't think could happen or anything like that, what would that be? Well, I'd say that this, this creation, this construct of whiteness, that people kind of gave up their past or whatever to become this white mesh of people that really don't have a past that it's easy to manipulate people when they lose their past. It and, is true. And I'm not giving up my fucking Irish. I'm sorry, that would be DMB for going for the Dave Matthews Band. I mean, I've got, you know, 5,000 years of Celtic history and uh, stuff, so. Me too. Hashtag me too. Uh, I agree, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm extremely Italian, and the Italian people were treated very horribly when uh, they came How over. You get Hinchcliffe then. Well, because uh, that because uh, I had older brothers and sisters f- that my mom had from a different dad. My mom was slutting around, basically, is what happened, and she was just fucking. So you're only half. You're only half a guinea. Uh, well, uh, my mom's Italian too, but she's just not like a hundred, hundred, ten percent like my dad is. My dad's so Italian, he owns an Italian restaurant. He's, Olive Garden. Yes, he owns. Yeah. Olive Garden. Uh, well, go. Um, thank you so much Thanks for coming on the show again. I know last time you were on, we didn't quite see uh, eye to eye, and uh, I'm glad that you, like many of my favorite people, uh, sign up and come back again, and don't okay. let one rough set uh, hold you down. You're a real comic. Thank you. There he goes. Go, ladies Hooray! and gentlemen. He's on Twitter at you got wisdom. Josh Martin's at Josh Martin Comic. Daniel Moquin's got nothing. Lisa's little little cute pa Mitch Brown. I'm Daniel Valdez, all one word. Sean Dot Mayer, M A Y E R, and Hollywood Joker is my guest. Is hey, look at that drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt. All the prints are at RyanJEBelt.com. Every single episode he draws live in person during live episodes of the show. No episode next week or the week after. Very important for you diehard Kill Tony fans. I know. I tried my hardest, but. Uh, uh, the, we're, they're giving uh, the amazing comedy store staff some well-deserved time off. Uh, and uh, very, very exciting because we love the comedy store. How about a hand for the comedy store? We've been doing this for over five and a half years now. And, uh, yeah, we're back January 7th. I'm trying to uh, – I don't have anybody official booked yet, but I will tell you right now, some of people on my January dream list, uh, Joey Diaz, Joe Rogan, get Segura, Kreischer back in here. We're going to figure out the exact dates. I'm going to book everybody in the next couple weeks. And our and, new uh, regular, William Montgomery. William Montgomery will be here in 2019. So that's a really big deal. Russell Peters is uh, going on, uh, of course, a world tour again. Does it every year. We got, we got, we got some stuff happening. RussellPeters.com. He's on uh, Instagram and social media, at Russell Peters. That is I. All one word, R-U-S-S-E-L-L-P-E-T-E-R-S. Correct. So uh, how about we give a hand one more time for the great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins, huh? Yeah. Jeremiah has the amazing show, Jeremiah Wonders. This week's episode's special for me because it's one of my funniest best friends, the great Benji Aflalo, another guy who, uh, who I fell in love with very early on in my career and was like, man, this guy's got a lot of fucking potential and capabilities. And just like Jeremiah and a few other of my friends, they've uh, blown my mind with what they've done, creating shows and whatnot. Uh, what else, Jeremiah? Uh, you can expect Russell Peters as a guest on my podcast soon. <laughs> I'll be doing Jeremiah Wonders. Uh, yeah. When? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, no, no, not go. tomorrow. When, <laughs> Wednesday? <laughs> Wednesday's good. Hey, okay. look at yeah. that. That easy. 
Uh, you know who we didn't hear from all night tonight? Another one of the fans' uh, immediate favorites. I mean, they're crazy for this guy right now. So let's check in with them right now. How about a hand for the guitar playing of Chroma Chris? Uh, Chris, uh, what did you think of tonight's episode? It was great, Tony. There was a lot of, uh, lot of great deliveries tonight. Oh, because you're a fucking oh. baby. Uh, how about one more time for the great and powerful Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, huh? Joel's on social media, mostly sorry. It's official. He's coming to Dublin, Manchester, and London with us. Or I is he? Yeah. Can he fit in a, into a checked bag? We Find out more February 14th, live from uh, Dublin. Well, or is it. Mitch I Brown I can't wait to hear going. the Joelberg chants with an accent. It's going to be great. Fuck yeah, it's going to be crazy. Uh, I'm so excited. Thank you to uh, Robin Hood. Make sure you go check out that app if you're interested in... Uh, Free Apple stock. Just I mean, do it for the Apple incredible. stock. It's incredible. It's an investing Sit on app, it. and they help you, and uh, it's easy to understand. Infinite CBD, if that gives you too much anxiety... And uh, Genius Pipe, if uh, you miss the uh, effects of THC with your CBD. That's right. Yes. Uh, also, uh, we're going to, in the next couple of weeks, there's a new Reagan and Watkins music video dropping with a very special guest star in it. So uh, look out for that. And the album drops hopefully in February. And shout out to at Rockin' B Pins, uh, the letter B there, Rockin' B Pins, no G in Rockin'. Rock and R O C K I N B P I N S. Making they make he makes uh, the most unbelievable coolest pins and uh, and, no and pins P I N S P I N S and D penis. pins. They and, make the greatest I diapers. Suck my <laughs> And there's Kill Tony shirts out in the lobby, some Death Squad shirts. Uh, check it out. See That's you guys. That's right. Hey, how about one more time for Russell Peters? Thank you, live audience, for coming out. We love you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>